Live from Waddle Rink in North Andover, Massachusetts, it's Women's Hockey East action as the Merrimack Warriors get set to take on the Vermont Catamounts. Vermont with the puck in the offensive zone. Catamounts will drop it and a score from the far circle. Vermont able to work that puck around nicely and they set the play and the goal will come from uh, Teresa Schaffzall. Nate, 1 0 Vermont. We talked about the top line off air coming into the game and look how quickly Vermont is creeping their way in. Really four skaters coming across that line. A little innocent drop back feed. Loose puck. Catamounts at the near circle. Gay, they gain possession. McCool drops it up on top from the far circle. Shot kicked out by Gorski. Rebound score. A juicy rebound in front. And Vermont is able to capitalize on the power play at 6-0-1. It's a 2-0 Vermont lead. What a big pad save on the initial shot from the far wing. You see a nice little swing there to the wall. And then McCool pivots back. She gets it poke checked away. And there's a nice save right there by Gorski on that initial shot. But on that initial shot, she was kind of back on her heels. She was kind of floating her way back in towards the goal line. So she really didn't have her footing underneath her. And then when you leave out a rebound like that, especially in between the hashes, somebody's going to be there to poke it home. Catamounts back in transition, getting in behind the D. Shot saved by Gorski. Loose puck score. The first shot on goal came from Lara Beecher. And Vermont able to convert on the rebound. They lead 3-0. Yeah, Beecher with the carry really created that goal right there, skating up the left circle. And here's the rush up ice. And there's the freight puck handle. A little drag there to get the shot in on front. Burns was there to try to clean up any rebound. Bergeron was right there in front acting as a screen. And so things have really extended here as Blaze Savoy will get credited for the goal, her seventh of the season. Merrimack coming down ice. Here comes Pongo in front, score! Sam Lessick will get Merrimack on the board at 10.54. Lessick from Pongo, and there will be no shutout tonight. Merrimack on the board. Popping right over the line, threading the needle across, bearing the puck there is Lessick. I kind of got a little nervous there with Murphy on the trailer. She was trying to defend the feet over to Lessick. We talked about the speed of Vermont all night long, and you thought Murphy may have used some of that burst to try to break up that centering pass, but great puck movement, great transition over the line. Merrimack on the board, cutting the Vermont lead now to two, and another attack here by Blackburn. As the Catamounts attack into the offensive zone, quick shot, and it's a score from the far circle. And Vermont will extend the lead, and that goal right there could be the dagger for Merrimack. As Vermont will extend the lead to four to one and it's going to be Elise Murphy with the goal Nate. Yeah Elise Murphy that one pinged off an upright as well. She carries it over the line has a big seam in front of her and she sends it on the opposite side back door shoulder glove side of Merrimack's Gorski. Down into the Merrimack zone as time continues to tick down here down to our final 10 seconds. Quick centering pass and a shorthanded attempt, and they will score a shorthanded goal. And this is going to be Schaffsall, Nate, with her second of the night. Vermont. Oh, else? So Schaffsall, her second of the game, 13th of the season. And that will put the final exclamation point on this one as the Vermont Catamounts defeat the Merrimack Warriors 5-1. to one. And Nate, really a great workmanlike effort for the Catamounts on the road.